Hey fellow Vault Dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and today I will be talking about action points. All you need to know about action points, action point refresh, speed and so on. And especially to showcase it the best, I'll be using the paradox that occurs when your action points are very low. That will probably help me explain some stuff related to action point. As well, I will cover some the best buffs that you can use to deal with your action points when those are too low. 20 is probably the lowest that is achievable. I doubt you will be running around with 20 action points. I did it only for the purposes at this moment of showcasing how action points work. So basically what action points are, you probably already know. If you want to do anything in VATS, you need action points. If you want to sprint, you need action points. If you want to jump, you'll be using action points. And you can see every time I jump, I'm using half of my AP bar. That's because for most of the actions you do, there is fixed cost for action points. For example, if I want to use Holy Fire in VATS, it costs me 23 action points per shot. Therefore, I don't have enough at this moment to shoot even once. The fun fact, if I try to activate VATS, with this situation you can see my AP bar, bottom right corner on the screen right now, is just flashing wherever I press a VATS button. It will not activate. But now, a little bit about action points. Apart from things that are using action points as a flat amount that is usually listed, like in case of weapons in VATS, there are actions that use action points based on percentage, as well items that do refill your action points back percentage based. What I mean by that? For example, a jetpack. If I want to use a jetpack, it doesn't matter that I barely have 20 action points. It's still enough for me to use a jetpack as jetpack consumption in va uh, not in VATS, when flying, when using it, is based on percentage from your bar. So it's consuming equally regardless what my total action point value is. So I can use it with as low as 20. And that's a perfect situation for me to explain two different ways of regenerating action points. One is the best AP regeneration buff. It's the Campan ET, currently widely available thanks to Camp producing those. It gives you, I'm a herbivore, so default value is 10%. For me, it's 20%. What it says, like it doesn't explain it very well when you look at that, but here on the Pip-Boy page, it says 20% AP region. So when I consume that, it will appear under my effects page. AP region plus 20%. What it means? It means every second, 20% of my action points will regenerate when not consuming action points. This type of regeneration only works when I'm not using action points. So it doesn't work when I'm inside VATS, doesn't work when I'm sprinting or using a jetpack, but it starts working about a second after. So now if I drain my action points, stop using them, you can see they regenerate quite fast. As 20% of them is being regenerated per second, plus my default value of AP regeneration. Before we go any further, there are different ways of improving your AP regeneration. This is called Action Boy. It makes your action points regenerate faster. It's not the same thing. It's generally weaker. If I add it now, it will be nowhere near as good as Campanity. And that's what you should probably know. That's the most important part. Now I, my action point regeneration is slightly faster, but action points regeneration from action void is only worth it if you already have high AP regeneration. If it's low, it's not really giving you much of an improvement. You are way better off with just running Campanity. Now, when fun starts is short 
AP regeneration items like coffee for example. This works completely different. It gives you 12 action points per second for 25 seconds, but this is, I would call it, a hard, flat AP refill, stackable. So depend how many coffee I will take, this is the amount I will be getting per second for this short duration, but unlike company T effect, this will work even when I'm consuming my action points. And you will see it perfectly with my low amount of action points. I drink two cups of coffee and now I use my jetpack. Look at that, the jetpack is not able to use action points faster than I'm regenerating them, as jetpack is percentage based. So as long as this coffee is working, I can continuously tap on the jetpack. If I change to change the view, you will see my jetpack going. Now you can see my jetpack going. AP is not moving. If I would have only one coffee active, you will be able to see AP moving. So now one coffee active. And you can see my AP is dropping slightly because my action points are so low and jetpack is consuming percentage base when coffee is refilling flat. The jump is half, so when I jump you can see how fast coffee is refilling. That's a single coffee. The problem is when my action point pool will be way higher, you will not see this effect in the same way. Will soon give myself much more action points and you will see how it works. But coffee, alternatively, birthday cake slices are very important. They both do the same thing. They both regenerate AP over time. Don't be distracted by different description. It means the same thing. It just here it's listed that it's regenerate 300 AP and doesn't say that it's over 25 seconds. And that's maybe a little bit misleading. It's exactly the same effect as coffee. I don't know why descriptions are not consistent. That's why I'm telling you about it. It's the same. The coffee regeneration, slice of birthday cake regeneration, those are the same. There is a couple more items that are not used as often that do have the same effect. Those two are that you need to know about. And Campane T is your buff that you always want to have active. It's the strongest and the best buff. It can go higher if you have strength in numbers, you join a team or you use magazine to boost it even higher. As well, you can get some extra AP regeneration if you use instrument at your camp or wherever else. You can increase your action point regeneration. Now, if I join a random team, my total pool of action point is higher and you will already be able to see the jumping is consuming less visibly because I have more action points and the cost is exactly the same. When I use the jetpack, it seems the same as its percentage base, so it doesn't matter how much action points I do have. Now the VADS button is working and it's consuming flat amount for press of the VADS button, so it's not free. And you can see that my action points are regenerating in the same manner as regeneration from the company is based on percentage, as I said, 20% per second. So now as I have 60 action points total, I'm regenerating 12 per second. Before I was regenerating four because I had only 20 and so on. If I increase it further, oh, if you wonder how I'm increasing it, I'm just giving myself back agility I took away before. So now as I'm increasing amount of agility I have, I was showcasing with one. Now I have 15 agility. So it went up to 160 action points. Each point of agility equals 10 action points, so we can easily increase it. I can increase it further as I have mutations that are reducing my action points. I can add class freak to increase it even further. Now I have 197 action points. Then I could use consumables to increase my action points even more. There is a lot of them that gives you flat increase to your action points. If you are a carnivore cooked soft shell meat, I'm currently a 
herbivore, so that will not work for me. I need a herbivore buff, for example, infuse suit flower tea will give me flat 50 action points for the duration. That's like max IP when it's stated on the food buff. It's how much it's increasing your action point pool, not the regeneration. So that's a different thing. Now I apply it and if I open my AP, it's 247 now. I can still increase it further if I add something that is boosting my agility, like this mud fruit juice by free, that will equal to 30 additional action points. And now I have 272. How much you need? That depends what you are using. Basically, depend on your weapon, you usually want to have as much as possible, but realistically, usually what you need to unload a single full magazine, full clip from a weapon. For example, this railway has capacity of 40, action point cost of 7. So how much action points are needed to use it comfortably in VATS without consuming coffee? It's simple calculation. I multiply 40 by 7 and in results I'm getting 280. If I have 280 action points plus what I need to enter VATS, so realistically about 290, 300 action points, I will be able to unload full 40 spikes from a railway and then refresh my action points while reloading. If I exit VATS while reloading, the action points will go back. So I need a little bit more than I have at this moment. At this moment, I will be just slightly short. The last several shots will not go off in VATS, will go outside. I will drop from VATS when action points will get exhausted. So I would need slightly more. How I can achieve that? I can increase my base agility. I can use better food buffs to improve my AP or consume like a single coffee while fire firing the railway that will slowly regenerate my action points when I'm using them. So this is what you need to know. Now the instrument will just give you additional action point regeneration if you play it for like 20 to 30 seconds. You can as well from those camp items increase amount of your agility if I use this speed bag that will give me two extra agility points that will last for 30 minutes so unfortunately those buffs from those items at your camps are not the best but still if you are just short on one of your special of any kind you absolutely could use those little buffs for example if i want to use this railway as i, as I said i was slightly short now after using the device my action points oh i exit the power armor additional thing i'm wearing an yielding armor so now i have 400 action points so 400 action points way more than enough it can go even higher if i drop my health so now the unyielding full effect 447 unyielding power armor is used so often thanks to that like each piece it gives you plus free to all special, including agility, so that increases your action points. Then, if your power armor is modified with ultralight, like this piece, every piece of ultralight is additional 5 action points, so you can have even more. Then I can increase my action points refresh by playing this tube. At this moment, let's try to play it will get even more action point refresh then i will use a magazine to increase my action point refresh even further and you will see how fast this amount of action point can refresh there is one more super powerful buff that you can use for ap refresh but only once a day and it does require to sacrifice one bottle of nuka shine to Leo, camp ally, and unfortunately he only accept a new shine that's in the middle of fermentation, so it cannot be what you craft, and it cannot be vintage, it need to be regular new shine, so I will not show you that as I don't have any. But now after playing the instrument, if I go under the effect, well tuned is AP region plus 25, like the description of action point region are so inconsistent, like Nerdredge is plus 15. Well tuned is plus 25, but there is no percentage points. So it means faster, 25% faster, extra extra AP refresh, then Campanetti is per percentage point. 
So that's amount per second of your total AP. And I can boost it, as I said, with a magazine. I'm a herbivore, so that live and laugh number three. After consuming this magazine, it goes up to 37.5%. And just for the purpose of this showcase, I'm adding Action Boy. So now, close to 500 total action points with all the action point refresh. Oh, I need a jetpack to even show you how fast it's regenerating. What you will notice now, the jetpack will still consume in the same manner as its percentage base. So you can see it's consuming the same, but look at regeneration. You see how fast it is? It stops a little bit when I land because I'm hitting the ground and every damage power landing stops it. But then you can see that my full action point bar is regenerating in like no time. And you could get it even faster, but I don't know what point of that would be if you get armor that will have on second star faster AP refresh. I don't have it. I'm running intelligence here. I don't need it. As you can tell with this speed, it's fast enough that while I'm reloading my weapon, I will have all my action points back. So by the time I reload, like railway reload fast, I, I will normally, normally have all my action point back. So I hope this information helps you out. This is exactly how action points are working in this game. So the bigger the pool, the better than your AP refresh that you stack up. The company T is the key. And if you wanted to keep refreshing while in combat, coffee or birthday cake slices or a couple more items that are harder to get. So recommended is coffee. Coffee is quite common now. And that being said, thank you all for watching and see you all in the next one.